In the previous video, I explained when our page is doing an async job, like fetching an API, it's putting the page in the suspended mode. And if we have a loading file next to our page, Next.js will wrap the page with a suspense component that comes from React in the layout level. So in this case, our page is fetching some data, it's in the suspended mode, it's doing an async job, and it's not available at the, at the moment. So Suspense will render the fallback, which is a loading, to the end users to have a better user experience and have a better performance. Now this video's subject is to how to use Suspense at the components level. So imagine on your page, you might have a, a component, you want it immediately without any kind of loading, but you might have some parts of your page like comments or reviews that users can wait for them. It's okay to load them and render them later. It's based on your logic, of course. In this case, uh, I would like to show a loading for comments section on this page instead of waiting for comments section to be rendered and reduce the page load speed. And you might wonder if we put this comment section in the suspense, it might affect our SEO. Because first time that users visit the page, they see a loading instead of the actual data. But the way that Nexus treats this code is that it streams the page instead of showing the loading to the search engines or in the final page output. Now I try to show you an example to see how it works. I'm on the shopping page. I have a review section and some products. All of them are mock data, of course. Now if I refresh, I want this review to be rendered and loaded later because I don't want to wait for this review. It's not that important for me. And what I've done in, in the review, as you can see, I'm fetching the reviews from a service. It's a mock data, but you, you get the idea. And then after getting this data, I'm rendering them. I, I put this uh, delay because it was fast to show the, the skeleton to you. But uh, without this, you, you can imagine how it works. It's really fast. But if I put it in here, you can see a skeleton at least and how it works. But how, how I have done this? At the page level here in the shopping page, I've wrapped the review component with the suspense. This suspense come from React, of course. And the fallback this time is the skeleton that is written by me. If you remember in the previous video, I explained that we can have loading file, but this loading only works for page. If the page itself is, this, is doing an async job, Next.js will render the loading instead. But here, our review component will do an async job and we are manually wrapping the review component with, with the suspense. So we are in charge of creating and rendering this skeleton here and passing it as the fallback of the suspense. Now it works fine, let's try it again. You can see we wait for the review to be loaded, but as soon as I refresh, you can see the products are rendered already. And it's not blocking me. What, what about the streaming? Now here's the magic. If I refresh the page, you can see that it's loading. It's not finishing immediately. Let me try. You can see it's loading, yeah? This means Next.js will show an initial data as much as it, as it has to the end users, and it keeps the connection open until all the suspense are resolved and we have an output. Then at that point, it grabs the, the output of the review and send them back to the clients so they can see the actual review in the page source. And that's the important part that will affect our SEO. It means that if I take a look in the source code, I should be able this this data in my source code. Let's take a look. I zoom it a little. Let me maximize. And you can see here, it's the, this data, this LI is in my source code. It is in the output HTML of my page. And the, for the rest, of course, as well. Like this and this. This is in a way that if we were implementing it in React, we, have, we, we will never have this. It, it was only showing me a loading instead of all of this data that you can see, or my skeleton component. But here in the Next.js, it's a streaming and showing me the final result. And if you take a look in the net, into the network, you can see, let me open the network tab. Let me zoom, maybe detach it. And I bring it here. If I go to the network tab, first let me extend this to instead of 10, it's 3 to 10 or 15 seconds. So if I refresh, I try to refresh, and this is my shop page, shopping cart page. And as you can see, the request is not finished yet. It means that it, it is trying to load the page and it's not done. The connection is open. It's, it's waiting for the review to be done. And then as soon as it gets the review, it replaces the skeleton with the actual review. And uh, the final output and result of our page is going to have the review, like I showed you in the source code earlier. So that was it about the uh, benefits of using a suspense component for our components when they are doing async jobs and the way that Nexus is handling them via streaming with suspense. So see you in the next ones.